Thanks. Hello? Hello? Alright, we've dropped zero frames. Woo! The frames are better from going from 20% frame drops to 0% frame drops. Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. What's up? What's up? Exile with the 33 months, only three to go. Swipe. They have the 33 months. Exile. Is this AOE one? Uh, this is AOE two music. AOE two. Wahoo, wahoo. Um. Good airline prices are getting lower with a flight hotel package. Chicago is close to 750 threshold. I want to spend catch snow going to the party hotel in the early. It's three nights, even though it's like parked for a few days. Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I act like I live in LA. Oh, yeah, I'll be checked. Um, at least it's gotten cheaper. That's good. It's like, I think 4th of July is like peak traveling. And I think it starts cooling down a bit as we get closer to August. Because so I think, um... Everyone does their traveling probably end of June, early July, because that's when kids get out of school. You know, like, kids get out of school, like, usually ended, or, like, early June, right? And then I think they plan trips for, like, a few weeks after that, and everyone's like, woo! And then people get back. And then I think kids start school in August. So, like, you know, nobody's going to travel then, because then they got to take their kids to school, and the kids are in school, and blah, blah, blah. 
Um, so yeah. <laughs> I think that's why prices start dropping, which is good. By the way, bop, bop, bop. this music's so good. I forgot about Age of Empires 2, mu 2 music. I used to play it all the time. I used to play a bunch of old uh, video game music. I just started doing that again. I must start doing that again. Alright, let me... Bloop. Alright, there we are. Now let me... Blop. Alright, there we go. Uh, I do need a background image. Hold on. Uh, actually, I guess I don't. I gotta just keep the black bars. It's funny, because, like, I could actually make this camera 1280 by 720, and I'm just like, eh. I like it more like a box for when I do games. You know what I mean? Because I don't like it being... Whoops. I don't like it being, like... Uh like weird diagonal down here when I'm doing games. I like this, like the little box, right? But when I go uh, full screen, then it becomes a little wacky wonky because then I got the sidebars. Whatever. <laughs> uh, so today, instead of doing coffee time, we're doing beer time because it's later. I ain't drinking coffee at 11 p.m. So we are drinking Half Acre Bodum. Bodum. IPA. Half Acre Bodum IPA. Pretty good. It's pretty good. This is also my last night uh, before Toaster Woman comes back. She comes back tomorrow afternoon. So I only have one more night of figuring out what I want to eat for dinner and having to either cook it or get it. <laughs> Uh, hoppiness level, it's pretty hoppy because it's an IPA. I love hoppy, uh, hoppy beers. I want this thing hopping like the Easter Bunny. Oh yeah, I gotta update sub goal. Uh, sub goal, rip. Rip. Two napkins. I only have two napkins left. <laughs> rip two napkins. There we go. Since you've been living the bachelor life, what have you been eating? Uh, let's see. I got chicken kebabs from this one place. Uh, I got a chicken sandwich from this one local place. I got Panda Express. Uh, I only eat out like one meal a day though, right? But I usually only eat out one meal a day anyway. And then usually for breakfast, I always make my own breakfast. Uh, which is usually like the healthiest thing I have. I usually have like oatmeal with like berries and stuff and walnuts. And then I'll usually have uh, uh, for like dinner, I just grill up some stuff. So I've been grilling up chicken, grilling up uh, corn, and then we have like a, what's it called? It's like a cauliflower mac and cheese thing by Tattooed Chef. And I just pop that in the microwave. It's like five minutes and then you got cauliflower with cheese <laughs> it's really just cauliflower cheese but like cauliflower is healthy it's a vegetable so I just eat that <laughs> that's pretty much it and then before I go to bed I eat a banana uh that's true I had a few nights where I was grilling a brat as well you can only have brats nice. so many nights there's only so many nights you can have brats <laughs> King Kivik 12 months wow we have been lurking for a year now that's kind of cool I would say that is pretty cool Almost as cool as one year. Put some credit on Nerd Cypher's Wallace Bummies in the chat. One year. Also, is my video good? Oh, it's not good yet. My Warhammer video is rendering. Um, let's see. What else have I been doing? A lot of building rats, painting rats, playing Warhammer. I've played a couple games this week. Uh. I don't know. 
cleaning. <laughs> uh, I haven't run. I haven't really done that much. Uh, that many crazy things. I've got a cool. Uh, I have something cool coming up. I can't talk about until like Thursday. But when you when it happens, you'll be like, oh my god, that's pretty cool. <laughs> did you fiddle around more with the novel AI thing? Uh, I did not. I talked about it a bit on Cox and Crendor, but I haven't uh, I haven't wrote any more any more stories or anything. Uh, maybe I'll write one tonight. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Dude, the most popular Kren clip on my Kren clips channel was me reacting to that Dark Secrets Wow video. I just Thanks. gotta react to more stuff, honestly. <laughs> That's the meta. Phantom Rikiri with the 22 months. Give me the deepest swag you can muster. Swag. There you go. One, two, five, Not a lot of That's like what? I guess I already did the swag. Hold on. Like, I think I was a little deeper. There you go. <laughs> Neat. Uh, what else did I do? I went to the gym a lot, as I do. Nothing changed there. And uh, this is like the nerdiest thing, but I watched like a three and a half hour video of a Skaven uh, battle tome discussion of how to play Skaven. <laughs> On top of the, uh, another Warhammer video, which was four hours of deep diving into the Skaven Battle Tome. So I watched, like, seven hours of Skaven video. <laughs> now I know so much. On top of playing Skaven games. Mm -hmm. Flippy Killer, 100 bits. Holy shit, it's Kren Dog Poggers. Thank you, Flippy Killer, for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Uh, man, I can't wait for the new Warhammer 3 update. That's gonna be so good. I'm excited. I haven't played it since February. It's been a while. Battle. Oh, battle. Dude, Rat Jam is the best. I see Rat Jam in other people's chats. Yeah, I love the Crendor Rat J. It makes me think, what did I play like last year around this time? Uh Oh yeah, that's right. My birthday's in like a week. <laughs> Forgot about that. So I think last year I played a bunch of fishing games on my birthday. I don't know what I'll play this year. Oh yeah, I played the cat. There's Cat Goes Fishing. I remember that game. Uh, oh yeah, Knockout City. Forgot about that game. What else is up here? Uh, I forgot I even played some of these. Hey, it's Missionary. What up, Blood Vendor? Oh, that's right. Gmart's birthday's tomorrow. That's what every time Gmart's birthday is a week before my birthday. That's how it works. Because time and dates and stuff. But every time I'm always like, oh yeah. Gmart's literally a week before me. It's crazy to think. The old July birthdays. That's why he's Gmart 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and then, me and Sput have the same birthday. Sput is the same birthday as me. So every time, he always messages me and he's like, Yo, birthday bros, happy birthday bro. And I'm just like, hey, happy birthday bro. I feel like of all the people, it's I feel like Sput is a is a good birthday bro, you know. 
he gives me the zoomer energy that I like. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Your birthday's near Crendors too? Nice. Nice. I'm gonna be 33. 33. Which is pretty wild. In my early 30s. And then, what would that be? 30... Thanks. Uh, I'm almost in my mid-30s. Oh, my God. Was for 11 months. Save the 11 months. Was for... What? 70, 9, 10, 11. What? Save the 11 months. Was for... Almost a year nerd day. Yeah, we might do a... Uh, we might do another AI story. We'll see. What did I... Oh, yeah. I still have to play Kirby. Still gotta play Kirby 64. Um, oh, yeah. So, about my anime thing. I was gonna mention that. So, pretty much... At first, I was like, everybody give me anime recommendations, right? I'm gonna watch the first episode of these animes. And then I'm gonna rank them, right? I'm gonna take ten animes, watch the first episode, blah, blah. I have so many games on backlog, you're right. <laughs> and... The issue with that is everybody just started recommending their favorite animes and animes they really like. And I was like, I don't just want, like, good animes. I want some, like, trash ones in there, too. You know what I mean? So I want to make it so that if I go into this knowing absolutely nothing and I'm like, you know what? This trash anime episode one's pretty all right. People are going to freak out and lose their mind and be like, he ranked. And, right? So I think that's part of what I want. Uh, so I was like, I'm going to go to the Crunchyroll popular ones. And I'm going to do, like, the top ten over there. But then, Gmart said, I just looked at the popular page on Crunchyroll. I would definitely not use it to pick ten. A lot of dog shit along really good series all bundled as popular. So I was like, that's kind of what I want. <laughs> but, I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through and I'm going to pick out some animes that look like I would at least maybe enjoy them or that they'll have some sort of like meme potential if i pick them you know what i mean so i have now picked out 10 animes i'm gonna watch the this is probably from like the top 40 uh on popularity on crunchyroll so <laughs> i'll probably start watching those tonight and then I'm going to make a video that's just like, I picked 10 random animes and watched the first episode of each one. That's probably not what the video will be called, but something like that. Um, and there's going to be people that are just like, that video, that series sucks. It's good at the start, but the blah, blah, blah. And then some people are going to be like, that series is so good. You said it's bad, but it's good at like episode seven. I'm like, I don't care. Uh, which ones you pick? All right. So, uh, here we go. So here was the top ones. I picked Spy Family because that was number one. So I was like, sure. Uh, I picked. Hold on, here's the others. I picked My Dress Up Darling because of the... When I was doing the openings, I remembered. I was like, oh yeah, Gmart said this one's the... Or the cosplay one. Sure, I'll give this one a watch. So I picked that one. Birdie Wing. About anime golf. I was like, dude, alright, I'll watch anime golf. Banished from the Heroes Party, I decided to live a quiet life in the countryside. This one interested me because the title is just a really long, like, translation. And I was like... What? Uh, then <laughs> Skeleton Knight in Another World. I was like, alright, I like the Skeleton Knight, dude. He seems like he's a cool guy. Rising of the Shield Hero. This seemed like more of a serious thing. And I was like, I don't know, I'll throw it up there. Uh... <laughs> The meme one I picked was trapped in a dating sim. The world of Otome games is tough for mobs. Uh, I was like, this seems like one of those... A lot of people are going to like it, but I'm not going to like it ones. 
Uh, oh, this one. This one looks probably like the worst one that I picked. The greatest demon lord is reborn as a typical nobody. Now, I picked it because I thought the, the premise seemed all right, but I already know this one's going to be trash. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be uh, pleasantly surprised by the first episode. Uh, and then the last two are Aoashi, which is, I guess, soccer. I was like, I'll throw in another sports one just in case I don't like the golf. Maybe I'll like soccer. We'll see. Maybe I'll hate it. And then Tomagachi Game, because I checked the comments and everyone's like, dude, this the twists in this thing are amazing. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And I was like, all right, I'll watch it. The first episode, at least. <laughs> so those were the, the ten that I picked. Wait, wait, what? Ardrews with the 30 months. Thank you, Ardrews. One, two, five, seven, nine, 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 uh, anime basketball, that's a no-go for me. I'm too much of a basketball fanatic that it bothers me the way it's set up. Um, I've had numerous. The, the Kurokos, not a thing for me. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good video. <laughs> anime tennis, eh, I don't know. I think golf and soccer I could handle. Golf and soccer I think are on a level of like, alright, if it gets crazy, whatever, it's golf and soccer. May I add one to the list? Alright, what do you want to recommend? Just got in, didn't hear the whole list, one of the top nine cents, anime birdie wink. That's the one that's the one I was talking about. That's the one I was talking about. Made in Abyss. I feel like there was somebody that kept telling me to watch this. There definitely was somebody that kept telling me to watch this. <laughs> uh, Made in Abyss. Japanese manga series written and illustrated by... Akito Tsukushi. It has been serialized online in Takash Takasobo's digital publication. Okay. Uh. Made in Abyss is good if you like body horror? What the shit does that mean? <laughs> What's that mean? You won't get to it in the first ep. Oh. <laughs> Alright, great. Uh either I mean I like I like the ten I like the ten that I picked out. I think I'm gonna go with those ten. I might do a if it if this series goes well, I'll do another ten. But this is the only way I'm gonna be able to watch multiple animes is if I watch the first episode of each one. And then maybe just maybe one of them will draw me into episode two. But I might still just lose it. Mm -hmm. Um, Any recommendations for what? Anime? <laughs> Dude, if you want anime recommendations, you've come to the right place. Um, I got nothing. Watch Lupin the third part six. That doesn't sound like episode one though. That sounds like season three, episode six or something. That's not what this is about. This is about episode one. And only episode one. <laughs> you can't go like, oh yeah, season six, episode one. No, 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 no. It's episode one, season one. That's it. There's nothing else. You only get one episode and it's season one. First episode. 
The third is part of the name? I keep getting Pumadachi game and King's game confused in my head. Some concern on the first episode of Play. Uh, uh, it's its own separate series. All right, that, that'll be added into my second video if I make another one of these. <laughs> Uh, watch Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, I watched Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid. So I already know about Yu-Gi-Oh. In fact, I remember I used to be really into Yu-Gi-Oh because I was like, dude, I'm going to get that card that they played in the, the game, right? And uh, they played it in real life, and it sucked. It was like, I remember, he held up the, the mummy card. It was like a mummy wrapping a mummy or someone wrapping a mummy or something. And the, in the show, they're like, oh my god, this does some crazy shit. And you get in the actual card game, and it sucks. And I was like, this is dumb. I got scammed. Yeah, Tribute to the Doomed. That's the one. <laughs> that was stupid. Dude, Cory in the House is probably the most underrated anime of all time. 100%. Especially the one where he, uh, he has to, like, challenge the president for Alaska or whatever. The Russian president or something. I don't know. Is that what it was? He has to get- he has to win back Alaska? The card was really good. Maybe I just don't know about- oh, listen, I was also like 11 years old, I don't know. I was just upset that the card wasn't the same as the show. I think that's what bothered me. Um... In fact, Cory in the House, when you think about it, was a brand. It was a spin-off show from That's So Raven, because he was just initially the brother of Raven, and then he got his own show, right? <laughs> um. Also, I still love the Parasite anime. It was like, it was a really good anime. Uh, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Uh, mm, mm, mm. It's the one that's P A R A S Y T E. Parasite the Maxim. And that was one of the ones that only had one season or whatever. And I was like, what? This is the one ep one show I'd want, like, multiple seasons. But no, they reserved that for, like, one piece. Yeah, it's the one with Migi. It was really good. Um, I've really enjoyed Spy Family. I don't watch anime, but I flood my Twitter timeline, timeline like you so far. Yeah, that's one of, that's one of the episode ones I'm watching. Rare occasion where the spin-off's better than the OG. Exactly. That's so Raven was okay. That's true, it did have an ending. That doesn't stop a lot of shows, though. <laughs> I watched One Punch Man. I enjoyed it for like a couple episodes, and then I was like, I don't care anymore. You been watching more Spongebob? No. Usually, I watch Spongebob with Toaster Woman, so I'm waiting for, uh, Toaster Woman to come back. We're on se we're like halfway through season two, maybe a little more. Hey, you know, we're about halfway. You definitely seem like a guy who enjoyed Mob Psycho more than OPM. Thanks. I tried watching... I think I tried watching a Mob Psycho episode, and I didn't like it. Yeah, I think I watched episode one, and I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. Ghost All Merlin, 27 months. Kren stream for my lunch break. Always a good time. My anime recommendation is from the new world. Thank you, Ghost All Merlin. Wait, lunch break? Where are you at? Australia? What? They were 27 months. Uh, 
like, okay, here's my thing. Is if you tell if, if you can tell my running theme right here. So the animes I've liked are Attack on Titan, Parasite, Demon Slayer, um What was that one? Uh oh god, what was it called? What was it called? What was it called? What was it called? Uh, the one where it's like another psychological thriller, and right away you can tell that the teacher did it. <laughs> Which one was that? With the girl? That should, honestly, that should be enough for people who've seen it. Yeah, you raced that one. That was pretty good, but I figured it out pretty fast. Uh, I like psychological thrillers. So, I mean, it was like one of those things where I'm like, dude, why are, why are all these weird creatures coming from space? What's going on? What's happening? What's going to, this is crazy. And then like attack on Titan, like, oh, we're in the wall. What's outside the wall? What's going on? What's going to happen? Right. It's like that type of thing where I'm like, whoa. And then once I figure it out, I don't care. Like attack, like the last, I still want to watch the attack on uh, Titan season finale and all that, but. After I figured out what was outside the wall and in the basement, all that stuff, I just, like, didn't care as much. <laughs> uh, Promised Neverland? I think I watched the first episode of Promised Neverland, and I was like, this is alright. It was, like, okay. It kind of piqued my interest, but it didn't, like, super pique my interest. I don't know what it was. Is that the one where, like, the kids are running around, and then they go to the alley or something, and they're, like, driving off in the lady's bed or something? I mean, is that what it was? <laughs> Grant me your wisdom. How does one lower your temperature? What? <laughs> I don't know. Stand by your freezer? Kinda? That's like, it's probably not what happened, but I like kinda remember it. I think I watched it, but I was like, ah. Uh, Hunter x Hunter gets there after a while. I just don't care about those types of animes where they take 800 episodes to do the thing, or if it's the power of friendship, or if it's just like, I'm using my ultimate blast. This is my ability that ultimately blasts the enemy. Wow, I did it. Through the power of friendship, me and my friends are... And I'm just like, dude, I don't care. I could be literally doing anything else with my time right now. I could be watching a three-hour Skaven uh, battle tome breakdown where I learn how to play Skaven better. But here I am watching some kid talk about the power of friendship. Uh, <laughs> yeah, way too slow, dude. Bakamonogatari. Harem with unique animations? Wait, harem? When I hear harem, I just think of like, you know. Uh. <laughs> uh. I don't even know the types of anime. Types of anime. The five main anime genres are Shonen, Shoujo, Sinan, Jozai, and Kodomoke. <laughs> Kodomoke. Uh, I tried watching Tokyo Ghoul, didn't really get into it. It was okay, but I didn't, like, get hooked into it. Is this best anime in popular genres? No. I just want a list. Okay, here we go. Five types of anime. Shoju for little boys. Shoju for little girls. Sign in men. Josai women. What was the other one? What was the last one? So Gmart likes the shoujus. <laughs> it checks out. Okay. Uh, 
Did you watch the Devil Man Cry Baby? I did not. Shonen. Translated mean few years in English refers to younger male audience. Shonen anime usually looks to meet all interests of younger males. Most series feature a young male protagonist. Shonen anime have some of the most popular well-known franchises. Naruto, One Piece, Attack on Titan, Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist, Fairy Tale, Hunter x Hunter. Alright, that checks out. Sinan. Young man in English. Young adult male, adult male. One Punch Man, Tokyo Ghoul, Steins Gate, Ghost in Shell, Berserk. Uh, Shouju, Oran, okay, young girl, interpersonal relationship, romance story, Oran, high school host club, Maid Sama, Vampire Knight, My Little Monster, Nat, Tuesday's Book of Friends, Josai, uh, examples are Usagi Drop, <laughs> The Usagi drop sounds like a like a dance. Like, bro, do the Usagi drop. You don't know what the Usagi drop is? <laughs> Nodame Cantabile? Chia, Chihaya Faru and Paradise Kiss. And then Kodomoke. Last but not least, we have another genre that have at least one show from Kodomoke. It means directed at children. Oh, Pokemon! Doraemon, Digimon, Yo Yokai Watch, and Hamtaro. Uh, I mean, you could you fit. Oh. I see. Okay, so that's just like your generic Pokemon. So Pokemon is a Kodomoke. Kodomoke! Here's the thing, everybody talks about anime. What about the Japanese game shows? Cause they got like they got some crazy ass game shows, right? I wanna see some cra some crazy game shows. Uh Alright, interesting. Do -do -do -do. Let's see. Watch Psycho Pass or Ghost in the Shell stuff like that. What's your favorite biscuit? Uh, normal biscuit. <laughs> Akudama Drive would be up your alley. Psychological thrill in a cyberpunk setting. I'm not a big cyberpunk some cyberpunk person though. In fact, I don't really like cyberpunk at all. <laughs> I haven't watched other past the original Mobile Suit Gundam. Really not. Game shows. The one where they eat furniture? I think I saw the one where they eat random objects. They like eat doorknobs and shit. Bobo Bo? Bo Bobo. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen. Hold on. Uh Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh eh. it's really good. What's it about? Is it a psychological thriller or is it just like a standard thing? Stay away from the bobo. <laughs> High school boy fights ghosts with his friends. I don't really like fighting. Like, fighting is... To me, fighting is boring. Alright, here's the thing. is like, I like the fighting if there's, like, meaning behind the fighting. I don't like just fighting to fight. Which I feel like a lot of anime things are. It's just like, oh, we're fighting because we gotta fight this boss. And it's like, oh, the boss fight's so crazy. Like, to me... It, like the the story and the the psychological stuff behind the fighting is the the main part. Like for example, an Attack on Titan, they're fighting in it, right? But they're fighting because they want to figure out why, like, what's going on? Why are we here? What's in the basement? We got we're getting attacked and shit. Like they're fighting, but like there's still the mystery behind it all. Like why are they fighting? Who are they fighting? You don't even know what they're fighting. So that's what I mean. Was 
is. How's the Bleach anime? <laughs> I like the opening theme of Bleach. Hold on, I can make my video live on Warhammer. Not great, bad. Alright, perfect. <laughs> Good at first gets worse. Listen, all I'm saying is Bleach had a great opening theme. Actually, I want to hear what the other themes are. Hold on, can I like bring this up on screen? Hold on. What's Bleach opening one? Let me mute this. Here's Bleach opening one 50 years ago. Oh, that sucks. All right. How about Bleach opening five? Oh, that sucks too. All right, this is garbage. Um, here we go. Now, here, here's the good one. This is the one I picked to win the entirety of Gmart's uh, tier list thing. See this part, this is the part. It's got like melody, it's got harmony, it's catchy. It's not over the top, it's not generic. Like, yeah, that's a good opening. That's a good opening right there. The other ones suck. Uh, I watched JoJo with Gmart, and I didn't get it. I was just left confused. I felt like Hank Hill. You know what I mean? Like, I legit felt like Hank Hill watching JoJo. I was just like, Bobby? <laughs> what in the devil did you just show me? <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't <laughs> watch this type of programming on the television. Opinion on Battleships? Uh, I like Battleship. Maybe from the new world. I heard somebody else recommended that. Uh, from the new world. Uh, in the town, uh, uh, it's waiting for psychic powers. Leave your joint friend and mystery. Uh, uh, the truth of my is a bit of a second man. Special core says I've heard this again. The question, baby, those are old things. Children, we had to develop serious measures to retain cats and the dark children. Those are your coming of age stories. Say your friends are grow. Uh, it could be. I give it a shot. I'll put it on the list. I think Crendor would enjoy anime movies more than anime series. I probably would. Uh, what was that one movie that was really popular? I saw it with Toaster Woman. She really wanted to see it, and then I saw it, and I was like, that's pretty good. Uh, it was like, uh, there's a, <laughs> a boy and a girl, and your name. Yeah, that's the one. That's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> that's all I had to say. It's like a boy and a girl. You know. Um I like uh I like Studio Ghibli movies. Big fan. Like Perfect Blue and Paprika. Perfect Blues on Amazon Prime. Interesting. Alright, I'll put that there. And then... Paprika. Film. Yeah, Alright. Yeah, I'll check this out. Plus, I don't have to commit to it outside of, like, a movie length. I like that. Big fan of that. Spongebob the movie? Now that's a movie. 
uh, sports anime. My problem, here's the problem with sports anime. Most people who like sports anime don't really care about real sports, like NFL, NBA, basketball. So, like, my issue with it was somebody that, like me that watches it. I, I think I tried watching the Kuroko, and I was like, this guy's really good at, like, three-point shooting. So why isn't there, like, strategies and players that adapt to that that can shut him down? And Gmart's like, well, yeah, there is, but the thing. And I'm like, well, <laughs> also, why aren't these kids getting drafted into the pros? Why are they just still in high school? Like, if, you, if they're at this point where, like, you're rebounding and playing, like, Dennis Rodman out here, and you're, like, a sophomore in high school? I don't understand. It, just, it bothers me. As somebody who's, like, a sp actual real-life sports nerd, it just, like, bothers me. <laughs> I'm just like, those make, those make logical sense! <laughs> um... So, yeah. Hike you? Uh... I you. Uh, was it volleyball? I still don't know if I'm gonna like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's just like when I. It's one of those things where I just get. <laughs> They're just like, I am at the point. Where I will use my ability to spike the ball so hard that it will smash into the ground and destroy my opponent. If I spike it at the right direction, this will win the game. And then they're like, oh, and then it's like, dring, 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 and shit like that. And I'm just like, dude, like, <laughs> I don't care. I'm not talking shit about anime. I'm just talking about anime. I'm talking shit about some anime. Like, it sounds like these sports animes, a lot of it's just, yeah, it really is just like, it's fighting, but with sports. Yeah, it's just like, it's a battle scene, but with a sport involved. Like, I don't, to me, the fun of sports is it's not predetermined. Like, there's the human element to it. Like, something crazy could happen. Like, in this, it's like, okay, the, the hero kid's probably gonna end up winning, so like, whatever. Like, I love the randomness of sports. Like, you know, Green Bay Packer playoff game against the 49ers. And you're like, man, we're probably going to win this unless the special team shits themselves. And then they can't score a touchdown. And then the special team shits themselves. And the punter drops the punt. And the 49ers score a touchdown. And then your entire season gets destroyed. I never saw that coming. Actually, that's not true. I did see it coming. But I didn't know what it was going to be like. And then I got to see it unfold live. It was wild. Um, <laughs> the worst part is that I can uh, get Gmart to do the bracket of top NFL moments. My problem with that, I would, but can I show them on stream or is the NFL going to like copyright strike my channel and be like, oh, you're showing some clips there, are you? You're not one of our pre-approved Amazon Prime Thursday Night Football people. Whoa. -ho. Um. Also, Gmart, I uh, I saw your message, and so instead of doing the top ten, I went through the top like thirty or forty and picked out animes I thought could be fun or dumb or whatever. Um. Did they ever ask you to do that? No. Uh, they took, like, very small amounts of people. And they were, like, big people. Like, Tim the Batman. <laughs> and, like, S-Fan. And, like, a couple of That was it. They didn't ask me or, like, Sinvicta. <laughs> or Rob. <laughs> That's fine. Like, I don't care. I listen. Listen, I do it for the heart of the game. I don't do it for the money. I watch those things because I love watching football, all right? I love watching it for the game. Um. <laughs> uh. 
So here, oh, here, I'll show, I'll tell you the list of the animes I picked. So we got My Dress Up Darling, Birdie Wing, Banished from the Heroes Party, I Decided to Live a Quiet Life in the Countryside, <laughs> Spy Family, Skeleton Knight in Another World, The Rising of the Shield Hero, Trapped in a Dating Sim, the World of Otome Games is Tough for Mobs. That's like my meme pick. That just seems like it's going to be terrible. The greatest demon lord is reborn as the typical nobody. That's another meme pick. I know that's going to be garbage, but I was like, I got to see what this is. Aoashi. Okay, so we got soccer and golf. I'm like, if there's going to be any sport animes I like, it would be soccer or golf. And then Tomodachi game, which everyone's like, dude, this is so crazy. It's got so many twists and turns. This, this, this thing's the anime of the season. And I'm like, all right. So I picked those. Listen, it's not about whether or not I know they're terrible. It's not about... It's about the, the first episode of each thing. All right? Listen, okay? It's not a meme... All... Listen, to me, every anime is a meme pick. All right? <laughs> all right, what? <laughs> That's not gonna fly. <laughs> what? You're not about to watch 10 trash shows. And then go on every <laughs> podcast and stream from here on and go, yeah, anime's kind of bad. I gave it a shot in like 10 different shows, episode one, and they were all bad. Mm. Why is that happening? <laughs> all right, okay. You're to listen to fucking Tomodachi game. Look, I went into the comments. They said this Ooh, is the lull. anime of the season. I says Super Bat season? 11. <laughs> what season? I need to look up. What, when did this come out? April 2022. This I'm, I'm wrote checking. This. I'm checking what like season it aired in. What was it competing with? Uh, uh <laughs> aired this year's spring. All right, let's see what let's see what premiered in spring 2022 to compete. Spy X Family, infinitely better. Kaguya Sama, right. in, infinitely better. Okay. Uh, Homi San, probably better. <laughs> Summertime Render, so fucking good. Except for you can't watch it unless you pirate it. Uh, Haripi <laughs> Kome Breakout hit Okay A lot of good ones in this season All, all I'm saying Alright if you had to compile a list <laughs> you, Do you want Like the best anime In like the last whatever years Or do you want like current relevant Shit Uh I just want a Gmart like, list Like within the last like two years uh, probably more okay. recent. And, you'll, and you're I mean, only like... willing to go to Crunchyroll. Yes. All right, let me see here. <laughs> All right, Spy X Family stays. All right. Uh, Shield Hero can stay just because I think it, <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. What do I got here? Oh, here. Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll. You, you said you wanted sports. No, I probably... Well, I want golf. No. <laughs> no. I want but the, I want golf. I want the birdie wing golf one. Okay, I don't know what that is, but it can stay. <laughs> All right, Let me good. look at the trailer for the first episode. Let me click around. All right. As a person who does golf in real life, I think... Uh, I mean, it's got cute girls doing golf. Yeah, All right. Go nuts, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Um, let's see. Crunchy roll. Chat, what do you guys think of Fairy Tale episode one? <laughs> I'm also throwing the dress um, up darling one in there because the opening theme. Yeah, you can like, have that. Oh, That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, people like it. I just don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. What about Grimgar, guys? Grimgar Ashes and Illusions. Know what that I'm means. trying to think of okay, so you're only doing one episode of these, right? Yep. Only the first Shit. episode. Shit. Alright. Uh probably gotta go with the comedy got kill, right? Chat, come on, back me up here or not. You know, I'm comedy just comedy got scrolling. killed. No, a kame got killed. <laughs> oh. Comedy is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think a kame got kills got one of the best first episodes, and that's the only good thing I can say about it. Uh, that's good enough for me to edit. How do you spell that? Akami? A-K-A-M-E uh, space G-A space kill. 
All right. Throw that up there. Um, it's weird because Crunchyroll's sorting by popular is just clearly not true. <laughs> <laughs> like this is, there's no fucking shot that Skeleton Knight in another world right now is more popular than shit like Attack on Titan. Just from like oh, normies yeah. using Crunchyroll, like no fucking shot. Yeah. Uh, it says Akame got kill is not available on Crunchyroll anymore. <laughs> what did you, where did it go? Oh. They took it away. Where did, did it, wh where did it go? Uh, who Netflix. Stole it? I got Netflix. Ew. But <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> watching anime on Netflix just feels weird. Feels icky, even though yeah, it's so a perfectly a shower, reasonable right, experience. Doors. It's like totally. It's honestly probably better than Crunchyroll. Overlord? <laughs> nah, I don't know, man. I think Overlord gets a little. It, it, how do you feel about lustful characters, Crendor? I mean, I don't get like, shit. like, like horny. Uh, they can get annoying. Okay. Because what if that was like one of the main characters defining <laughs> traits was that um, they lust after the main character. That's exclusively like what they do. Yeah, that would probably get annoying. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Ranking of Kings. I don't know if you've seen that. Put mm -hmm. that on the fucking list. Put it on the list. All right. Rant. Oh, that's the one you said I'd like. That's, right? the, that's the masterpiece. Okay. Um, Do you guys think Krendor would like Kobayashi's Dragon Maid? <laughs> no. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. Um, Hold on. Yeah, Dragon Maid. Yep. Uh, Jobless Reincarnation. Can't recommend that. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. No, yeah, it's, that's going to be a no for me. Uh, what about Tokyo Revengers chat? I'm trying to find like a balance between like what I like and what like apparently the internet like. <laughs> like I fucking hate Tokyo Revengers, but it's like the most popular shit in Japan. Oh, that's weird. Why is this stuffed animal behind you keep moving? Uh, it's haunted. What? Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's haunted. So it that normally happen? Yeah. Kobayashi's Dread. This seems like the show that would take it full advantage of like, oh, it's the 3,000-year-old dragon maid that looks like No, hate. they would never <laughs> do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You see, these dragons are like 500 years old, but in dragon years, it's basically a kindergartner, so... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, gotta recommend Neko Para. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely popular country role. <laughs> Have you seen One Punch Man? Yes. Okay. I watched like a couple episodes and then I got bored, but I enjoyed okay. those episodes and I watched okay. them. Okay. 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 First episode. I'm just realizing how much like actual garbage is on the <laughs> service yeah like holy shit suppose a kid from the last dungeon boonies moved to a starter town that's a mouthful <laughs> thanks dragon bullets five months thank you dragon bullets what the fuck you it's want like... sports anime there's five months all right got one i got golf all right what about boxing uh i got that maybe a boxing all right uh Write down Megalobox. Megalobe. Megalo box. Megalobox. Alright, alright. I bet some psycho thought I was gonna recommend Hajime no Ipo. God, it's like you're speaking Greek. Megalobox. It's, it's, it's definitely a Japanese. <laughs> but yeah. It's Yo, like promise Neverland. Japanese. Put it on the list. Uh, I think I already saw the first episode of that. That's watch what I was it saying again. earlier. All right, I'll watch it again. I'll give it another one. <laughs> I think Haley showed me it because she was like, I think you'd like this. And then uh, all I remember is that I said this and people were like, what? 
There's like the kids or whatever, and then they yeah. go into an alley, and there's like some crazy shit, and then the woman's yeah. dead, and yeah. they're like, ah, right? By woman, you mean little girl? Or yeah, the girl's yeah. dead. Yes. And that was it, the first episode, right? Yeah. Yeah, ki kinda. I mean, I think I enjoyed it, but then I, I didn't watch any more. Cat, do you think you'd like to your eternity? Louis Barber, five months. Thank you, Louis. What the fuck? It's like they were the five months. Louis Barber. I feel like you would be intrigued by the concept of two year eternity. How do you spell that? Two space your <laughs> space eternity. All right, that checks out. Got it. <laughs> Not Japanese. Okay. How do you spell that? <laughs> uh, um. A lot of it has to do with like, does it have a banger first episode? Cause like not a lot of shows have like an attack on Titan, like right. boom, like you're fucking in. Right. That's why I wanted to do this. Cause then I'm, I'm gonna trying to think of, an anime trying to think of the I'm biggest shows away. that have twists that are like, whoa, okay. Yeah. I didn't think I'd be in, but now I'm in. Yeah. Cause then I'm going to end up doing it. And then some guys can be like, that show doesn't get good until this. Like, That's not the point of the show, idiot. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, some shows take a little bit to find their footing, but I'm willing to concede that like <laughs> a show should probably have your attention by episode one, and it should you shouldn't have to like yeah. slog through. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, three episode rule is probably fair. Yeah, I mean that's fine, but if it can't hook you by three, fucking not worth the time. I mean, with RE zero, I got hooked episode one. Episode yeah, two, I was like, all right. And then episode three, I didn't care. So like, it actually, <laughs> no. I actually dropped off the hill by no, episode three. Oh man, three. well that means it didn't pass the three episode test. Exactly. If it was just episode one, I would have loved it. Shit. <laughs> Chat. What about Nietzsche Joe? What about Mob Psycho? Have you seen Mob Psycho? I remember I met, I watched Mob Psycho once and I didn't get into it. But maybe I was just distracted i could try that again. sounds like a you thing to get distracted <laughs> i'll Put throw mob on your list dude no i'm not recommending made in abyss you guys i'm psycho i cannot in good faith recommend made in abyss <laughs> all right there we go we might all right how do you feel about toilet bound hanako kun <laughs> Did you just say toilet bound? Yes. I don't. I don't know what that means. I've never seen it, but I read it. <laughs> <laughs> toilet bound, the Hanako Kun. This looks. The two. It's a ghost. There is a ghost that's stuck at what the, the shit toilet. Is this? It's a comedy. I don't know. What the shit? I'm looking at the art. The art like freaks me out. It looks like I'm on acid. What Might the be. shit? I don't. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> Dude, I, I saw somebody at some point recommend you the anime Keep Your Hands Off Aizouken, which is an entire anime that is like a love letter to the making of anime and the process <laughs> and like references and shit. And I was like, why would you recommend that to like a complete novice who doesn't is not like in like industry? This is my issue with like when I was I went on Cox and Friend Lord, so I'm like, everybody recommend me anime. I was like, oh, you'd love this one. I'm like, I don't think you guys know what I like. <laughs> like I really don't. Oh, odd taxi, odd taxi, odd taxi. I think people like what they like, so they just recommend yes. what they like. But it's like when yeah. people are like, "Dude, check out this funny YouTube video," and they start laughing, and you're just sitting you're there sitting not there laughing. And you're like, and you just, they're like, "Oh, it, it, it gets good." <laughs> it, like, right. This dude, it's the next part. Is fucking <laughs> this so next part, this next part's so good, dude. All right, how many are we at? I haven't been keeping tally. Uh, Oh, odd tags. This looks right up my alley. Odd tags. Here we go. I fuck with odd taxi so hard. Yeah, this looks this looks good. Odd taxi uh, had this cool thing where while the show was airing, they had YouTube videos go up that were a character in the show doing a podcast like in universe, mm -hmm. and then in in the anime he talked about on his podcast like I've planted this like microphone pen. And I've been listening in on it and you get like behind the scenes stuff of like each of the characters and like as the story's progressing in this like third party podcast like there's a lot of love in this series interesting okay 
and then it like loops back around and like that character shows up on the show and shit and you're like what the fuck <laughs> Uh. All right, hold on. Let me check. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm at eight. Okay, okay, okay. I just saw. It. Sorry, I got distracted by this one called "Ladies versus Butlers," <laughs> and it was just women in underwear on the cover. So I just like. All right. Yep. Classic. I failed the eye <laughs> test or whatever. <laughs> yep, you did. Oh wait, did we say to your eternity? Yes. Okay, wait, that might have nine then. Okay. One more. Yeah, I'm at nine. <sighs> the golden first episode. How do you feel about like feel good stuff? I like feeling good. Like this is just nice. There's no conflict. It's just like characters doing comfy stuff. And it's right. just like nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <sighs> okay, are you sure? Yes. All right, chat. What do you think of sweetness and lightning? I, need, I just need you to see some opinions. Yeah. Played back camp. I haven't seen it, so I can't recommend it. Reddit likes it. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about camping? Do you like cute? Okay, here's a genre for you. <laughs> cute girls doing something. You like that? Are you into just cute girls doing ch ch chores and like and odd jobs and hobbies and such? Sure. Cause we got one. Okay, pick a hobby. We got one for everything. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. I guess, yeah. Do you want cute girls doing war simulation? We got girls in Panzer or whatever it's called. Cute girls war simulation or cute girls? Yeah, cute war. girls. Cute girls driving tanks. You know, into that. Uh, cute girls go camping. Cute girls go to Alaska. Well, give me. Um, give, okay, cute give me Cute girls the names. make a band. <laughs> Give me the names and then I'll look at each and All I'll right. determine. Laid back camp. Okay. A place further than the universe. Okay. Uh, K on. So K dash O N. Okay. Um, what did I say? Girl, girls und Panzer. What's it fucking? Yeah, girls und Panzer. Girls like und Panzer. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, should throw on Girls Last Tour on there. Fuck it. Girls Look at that Last one. Tour. Right, there you go. You got a bunch of cute girls doing shit. All right. Here, let me check. Pick your poison. Uh, Girls Last Tour looks like it's not in Crunchyroll. What? Uh, yeah, I don't see it. Uh, huh. let's see. I thought Crunchyroll got all the anime after they ate uh, Funimation. Hmm. Odd. Let's see. Okay, uh, on. Oh, it's on Amazon Prime. Uh, let's see. Okay, a place further than universe. Okay, I'm gonna click that and then laid back camp. Ah, 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 ah. Crunchy. Look at that shit. Crunchy. Did Vinland Saga on that list? Uh, I think I did and I took it off. Why would you do that? I don't know. That was the one of the you made an executive decision. You're like, yeah, this one dog shit. Uh, what else stayed that it must <laughs> fall? I gotta know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe Shield Hero. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, Shield Hero episode one pretty much shows like everything you need to know about the show. So I rather should I watch time. Shield Hero or Vinland Saga? If I was giving you legitimate anime recommendations, I would be saying Vinland Saga 10 times out of 10. But if I was giving episode one recommendations, I'm I'm pro I'm poking through Shield Heroes episode one right now. Let's see what it covers. How does it end? Oh yeah. Okay. You know what? Uh, 
Go with Vinland Saga, man. All right. Vinland. Saga. Frenchy. Vinland. So I think uh, Vinland Saga is on uh, Amazon. Or Netflix? Oh, maybe that's why. I think somebody probably recommended it, and then I was like, eh. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, it's on Amazon. And Netflix. New release. New, quote unquote. <laughs> It always okay, pisses me off about Netflix is they have the audacity to slap like Netflix original anime. It's like you didn't fucking make this. You just bought the right. <laughs> see, okay, uh, no. uh, honestly, I might pick the. What the? I found laid back camp and it's just this actual Japanese girl, like going camping. I think. Wait, what? Yeah. It's just an actual Japanese girl going camping. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm lost. Hanamori yeah. Yuri's beginner solo camping. I guess you could watch that one. Yeah, you might could be, watch that might, one. Might be could good. Be good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is that on Crunchyroll? Uh, yes. Let me see. Laid back. How did you? My first result is not that. Okay. <laughs> Where are you? Are you looking at Death Bell Bloody Camp? No. Hold on. Let me link it. I just do the link and. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what you see. Oh, it's a different season. There's a seasonal to drop down. Oh. You're on season oh. one, Hanamuri's big. I guess they did some promotional thing where I'm assuming the voice actresses did camping or something. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense then. Um, I was gonna pick the the German war girls, but I can't find it on Crunchyroll. Yeah, it's probably not worth your time. It's just a meme. Yeah. So just gr cute girls driving tanks <laughs> and shooting them at each other. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so. Uh, probably do the, uh, the camping one. Throw a camping one in there. I've never seen it, but more power to you. Yeah, might as well. Mm. All right, neat. Let me do that. We drop bag, boom. Okay. Mm. Boom. Okay, I think that's 10. Yeah, I also had Skeleton Knight on here, but... Uh, no, no, no. Right, no, 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 no. I like how nope, I just nope, see nope. these. I'm like, ah, it's a Skeleton Knight. They're like, oh, that's got, like, incest. In it. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> dude. So many things. You're like, this looks like an interesting premise. Like, incest. Harem. <laughs> oh. Uh, super murder. Uh, yeah, it's the <laughs> incest and murder. A lot of rape in that one. Yep. Might avoid yeah, it. yeah, you gotta avoid that one. Uh, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> like, I can't recommend Maiden Abyss in, like, good conscience because it's got way too much shit involving kids Thanks. where it's like, why are you doing this, mangaka? Please stop. <laughs> this is, this yeah, isn't that's... important to the story, and this is just like, oh. this fuck. Yeah. Uh, anytime I, I see one of those and I look, I'm like, oh, this is definitely not a me anime. It's like the eight-year-olds. Yeah. Uh, Honk was the eight-year-old. <laughs> you think the eight-year-olds are watching? Sorry, eight thousand-year-olds. My bad. Thank you, Honkless, for the two months one too. It's like, um, <laughs> here's the thing. Out of all the <laughs> like unconventional animes that I didn't think I would like, that I like, the one that I made me watch three episodes was Rent a Girlfriend. Shut up. <laughs> I watched three episodes. I what think I it's think because I felt like it was like 20 year old nerd me just being like, I wish I could get girlfriend when I was like a is really this the nerdy premise kid. Where, what even is the premise of this one? Is it like he rents a girl, like pays her to be his girlfriend he rents a and girlfriend, then they become actual then he girlfriends? Wants to be, he's like, I need her to be my actual girlfriend. So he wants her to be more than his prostitute. Yes, but it's not like a prostitute. It's like one of those like Japanese rent a girlfriend things where it's like 
Oh, hey, family for Christmas. Here's my girlfriend. That's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. That's not normal. Is that a Japanese thing? Yeah, that's a Japanese. Of course it is. Um, that's such a... <laughs> ugh, that's, the, that's the shovelware that just gets thrown out every season. And our anime goes, Mmm, new waifu of the season? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Give me the next one. Just think, I watched like two and a half episodes. I wasn't like, I binge watched the whole season, <laughs> right? I was like, uh, and I stopped. All right. Good. You got out. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. I did. I got out. It says episode three, 10 minutes left. That's where I you stopped. You can see that he quit. He's a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, the author, of, uh, l listen, I guarantee the author of most of these things are weird. All right. Yeah, you usually got to be kind of a little bit of a weirdo <laughs> to make like manga. <laughs> um, <laughs> he lives in a separate apartment from his wife to work on the series. Guy's got his own office. I don't see what's weird about that. He's got, he got his own just office at all times. He's got his he workspace, dude. Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> he works when he lives and he lives to work. I don't. <laughs> And keeps tweeting out pictures and saying he's married to the main girl of the series. Oh, oh shit! Geez. Wait, is that guy? Okay, <laughs> what? Never mind. That, I heard about that. That yeah. So he's like, <laughs> he's like, uh, what, what was the guy that did? Was it the Power Powder Puff Girls yes, or whatever? The self insert. Yeah, where the he's self like, insert. It's me. I'm dating Blossom or whatever in the show, and it's like, okay, man. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, you know. Or, uh, someone else did. Oh, yeah, the, the, the World of Warcraft guy was Sylvanas. He's like, uh -huh. Sylvanas is my wife. The Thanos is definitely her boyfriend. Yes, and he just happens to look like me. <laughs> and he's very important to the lore and the story, <laughs> and he's incredibly powerful. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there, there's some weird ass people out there. There's a lot of them. Did you see what happened to the Yu-Gi-Oh author? No. The author of Yu-Gi-Oh was found dead, drowned, on a scuba diving accident or something. He was just oh, found really? alone, and he had shark bites. Which, what the which shit? Like, <laughs> right? When did this happen? A couple days ago, I think. Like last week, two weeks ago. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. He was so like, did a old. shark like did a shark kill him or did a shark snack on him after he drowned? Like, I, that's so weird. That's a weird way to die. Yeah, it's not something you'd see. Yeah, what the shit? What are you like? Yeah, here? Shizuru is my girlfriend. Says author of Rent the Girlfriend. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> Classic. I mean, he did create her. I think that's he's true. entitled. I don't know. He did create her. <laughs> I mean, how many weirdos do you think online are saying that the false information of Chizuru is my girlfriend? And he's like, what the fuck? No, I created her. <laughs> you can't have her. <laughs> like, no, but I photoshopped her into all my pictures. So like, it's done. Also, I see on this website you linked me. There's a thing on the side that says cosplay apologizes after taking photos with alcoholic drinks dressed as Anya from Spy Family. Like, are they apologizing because they're supposed to be a kid that can't yeah. drink? They're apologizing because they're cosplaying as a child Jesus who Christ. wouldn't be allowed to drink. <laughs> Which, you know, there's got to be... Ah, oh, that led to Facebook. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Rent the girlfriend heroine. Chizuru's life-size figure is here. Oh, boy. Finally. You can get her life-size figurine. Now she can sleep with me. You she can't even do that because the author's like cucking you. We're not like, going to do anything her. sexual. She's just going to sleep over. <laughs> She'll definitely choose me. I wouldn't yeah. dare touch my queen. <laughs> God, I hope she steps on me. Life size one. What the shit? Who would order a life size figurine? I mean, there, there's some people that I know. Doesn't JP have like a life-size something or other? He's got to have that as like a meme, like right? Like a life-size Marvel something. I know like 
Soda popping out a life size like Kratos from God of War. <laughs> like I, st I, I still know. don't get it. <laughs> you got money, you got space, fucking. Yeah, I guess uh, if you got money and space, that's the only yeah, time that's I can see that. That's the biggest thing for happening. me is it's just space waster. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, well, if I don't want to display this humanoid in my room, I have to stick it in a closet, and that's the whole closet. <laughs> yeah, like I don't. You basically have to, you have to like kidnap somebody. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> like some human-sized object you need to stuff away somewhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bury this life-size model in the backyard. That's the only space it'll fit. <laughs> Neighbors are like, what the fuck is going on over there? I just... Like, look at it here. She comes in like... This big-ass crate. Jesus Christ! Yeah. That's like how they ship in like Russian hookers. <laughs> and stuff. Like sex slaves. Like, this is terrifying. It's bordering in the same territory. Oh, hi oh as you open the <laughs> box, what the fuck? <laughs> that is... Scary, man. That is scary. What the shit? I don't... Uh, the other thing is, like... It's like forbidden jutsu. They weren't supposed to... To, like, transfer 2D to 3D like that. Yeah, I don't... So like, the man with a huge Rabbit sloth bullshit. in the background. All right, here's the... Somebody comes to my house, goes like, oh, yeah, you got a big sloth. That's cool. Cute sloth, sloth, dude. Someone walks to my house like, oh, you have a life-sized oh, anime Chizuru woman. from Rent-A-Girlfriend. Oh, that's cool. That's not even the main <laughs> character. That's a side character, but all right. Like, good for you, man. <laughs> is that nice. your waifu? <laughs> yes, this is my waifu. I, she's costing me $3,000. I spray her with my favorite perfume every day. I have to spray her with Febreze because of the smell. <laughs> yeah, I get all too close. That like, is. yeah, there's a, there's a distinct difference. Another example of that. I have some figures on the shelf that's like uh, Luffy from One Piece, like Sanji from One Piece, but I can't have Nami from One Piece because her tits are out. <laughs> so that one stays in the closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one, that's got to stay in the closet. No doubter. Like, uh, I would, if you had this, like, life-size figurine, even if, even if it wasn't a life-size figurine, I would not have this out on display. Like, as a she normal has well, functioning she has a swimsuit, human. But, like, again, it's basically naked Nami. <laughs> I just... I don't, I don't get it. Like, to me, there's only, like, a few reasons you're ordering this thing. Yeah. And none, none of them are good. Yeah. I can't <laughs> think of... I can't think of actually, like, <laughs> I, if anyone could list a good reason. Because the best I could come up with is, oh, you, wa you, know, you want to do, like, a reenactment of, like, the, your favorite scene or something. You get, like, a bunch of life-size models you can, like, set up and, like, even that's, like, fucking weird. And the worst yeah. I could think of is, like, they want to come on it. Oh, no doubt. They're just, like, look at her feet and those wedges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 100%. You know that's happening. I, mean, I don't like that. I got to click off this page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah that's absolutely degenerate um also uh, blood vendor gave me movies to watch i want to hear your opinion one mm -hmm. was paprika um never seen it but All i've right. heard of good things and one was perfect blue Uh, never seen it. That's can't, from 1998. Can't. I kind of like that. Too old for me, boomer shit. It's kind of. I mean. All right, have you have you heard of a silent voice? Mm, silent. Voice. Have you heard of your name? I saw your name. All right. Have you watched a silent voice? No. All right. I would very much recommend a silent voice. Probably one of my favorite anime movies ever. I've watched it like ten times. Huh. Really good. All right. Okay. Keep that up there on the thing. Interesting. Okay. Uh, neat. Okay. Uh, Varzul, twenty nine months. Thank you, Varzul. God, I saw this anime figure in the box open, waving at me. <laughs> There 29 months. Lance Reel, 77 months. I just got here and the stream is already going places. It sure is. What the 
won't be passive. That won't be passive. Swing. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah. Someone also recommended from the new world. Uh, seen that one. What is this? From the new world. Uh, no. I don't know what this... Wait, maybe I do. All right. I need to look it up on Crunchyroll. Have I seen this? I think I watched part of this. Okay. Yeah, I've watched episodes one through five. It's, it was all right. Okay. Clearly not good enough. <laughs> All right, good. Maybe it's... I'll go back to it and finish it, because according <laughs> to this, it's like one of the most popular anime on my anime list, so it must have did something right. Yeah, I guess Top so. Top 250, like, that's pretty good. Yeah, everybody was like, oh, you'd like it, you like it. Yeah, I might watch that, like, now. All right. <laughs> As you um... think Krendor... No, Krendor wouldn't like Gintama. Gintama. Wait, you let one of the OPs get to the top two. Gintama OP 13. Oh, that one. The the iron whatever. Yeah, give it a listen again, man. It's still good. Uh, yeah, Gintama. It was 13 v 13. <laughs> bleach Gintama. <laughs> yeah, the bleach. I played the bleach earlier. It was good. Everyone said the show's bad, but the, the opening's <laughs> pretty good. Opening slaps, a show I haven't seen and probably will never. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Otherwise, I just watched Studio Ghibli. Ah, uh, Ghibli is good. Yeah, Although, I, like I haven't it. seen the recent stuff. Um, yeah, I haven't really either. My, what my... recently come out with? Yeah, like what is plain it? Plain one or whatever? Let's see. Uh, Earwig and the Witch. What? Earwig and the Witch? When Marnie was there. I think I heard of that one. I've never in my life heard of this. Earwig and the Witch is CG. What is this? <laughs> Uh, Wait, I think I've seen this. I see an earwig in the witch. It looks like fucking Dragon Quest, like animation. Earwig. Oh, I haven't seen this. What the shit? Yeah, right. This, I mean, I'm looking at like, it's like a trailer. Let me see. That, that's like a hashtag. Not my. Uh, you know what? Ghibli. Never mind. Twenty nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes, making me not too keen to look. But let me look at this trailer. Hashtag not my Ghibli, dude. The animation's not great. Oh, I think his son directed it. Miyazaki's son. Okay, so this was the the failure. Yeah. That all they've been up to? Yeah, they didn't do anything for the past, like... They didn't do anything since, like, Kaguya, huh? Did they, like, stop? <laughs> I guess. Huh. Between The Wind Rises and The Tale of Princess Kaguya in 2013, they did When Marnie Was There, which I've never fucking heard of, and then they mm -hmm. did Irrigan the Witch, which, who the fuck? <laughs> and then in 2023, they've got How Do You Live? Huh. Huh. Man, Is Ghibli's washed Studio up, man. Studio Ghibli still doing things. <laughs> Thank you, Google. <laughs> On August 3rd, 2014, Studio Ghibli temporarily suspended production following Miyazaki's retirement. In 2017, oh. Suzuki announced that Miyazaki had come out of retirement to direct a new feature film, How Do You Live?, which he intended to be his last film. Okay, so we're waiting on that. Yeah. Uh, uh, I like how without Miyazaki, they are just like, no, nah, we can't. <laughs> we're done. Yeah, like, oh, you got nothing. We're not even gonna. We're not even gonna try. Let's see. Is there any updates on it? How do you live? June first, twenty twenty-two. Miyazaki 
dips in and out of retirement fucking at will. It's like Brett Favre. <laughs> yeah. It's like, he's I'm fucking, bored. He's like, I'm out, dude. I'm done. Then it gives it a year and he's like, all right, I'm back for my final <laughs> masterpiece. And then I'm out. Then he gets bored after another year. He's like, all right, I'm back for my another final masterpiece. <laughs> uh, let's see. In December 2020, explain the movie is half finished. Should be released as early as 2023. All right, that's pretty close. It's based on a 1937 book of the same name. The story follows a young boy and his uncle as they experience bullying, poverty, and spiritual growth after oh, moving in the new neighborhood. <sighs> All right, uh, it's gonna be a sad one. Uh, All right, jeez, no more whimsy or magic, just, just sad reality. Yeah, why not the? Uh, you like Grave of the Castle Fireflies? Or... Do you like nukes? <laughs> Kiki delivery service, yeah, please. Yeah, more magic, man. <laughs> I want whimsy. Yeah, have craft such beautiful world. Uh, I don't want to be in a poor neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Even the, like, what's it called? What's that one? The spir spirited away, and then the yeah. Mononoke, Princess Mononoke. Yeah. Like that, like kind of sad. It had sad moments, but it wasn't like sad. I overall. mean, the settings themselves are magical. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like Brave of the Fireflies, I consider just like sad movie, realistic setting. Yeah. But like most of the Ghibli movies is like, whoa, like Howl's Moving Castle, there's fucking wizards and shit, and they got planes, and they got blimps. Yeah. Nausicaa, they got like fucking bugs going everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Fucking spirited away, you got the spirits all over, it's beautiful. And then it's like, all right, this next movie is about a father and a son who are bullied and they're poor, <laughs> and they're just trying to figure life out, like we all are. I didn't really like Nausicaa. Uh, it was whatever to me. Not one of my favorites. I didn't dislike it, but it just felt kind of like... I think it was too long. I remember yeah. it dragged and I was really bored. Yeah, that's how it felt for me. It felt like it kept dragging. It felt like... like a... This could just be a bad memory of it, but I felt like there was a lot of scenes of her, like, scrambling over terrain or, like, across tables to get away from, like, bugs or people or... I seem to remember a lot of like, oh, we gotta go, and like climbing over tables, yeah. and like over chairs and shit, and, like yeah, climbing over like trees that. and roots and under branches and like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, every time I try to watch it, I'm like, ah, oh, no, it's okay. Uh, white or red wine? Also, it's red a bit wine. preachy. Oh yeah, I can see that. It's big, like industry bad, nature good. Yeah. Stop destroying nature. I guess Princess Mononoke is kind of too. Princess Mononoke was a little more nuanced though, I think. Because it portrayed like some of the positive aspects that like industry and stuff was having. Like all yeah. of the women in the camp were like, yeah, we have much better lives here now that we're working under her. Like we used to be sex slaves. Yeah, that's true. It's like, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and then my neighbor, my neighbor Totoro is like That's the... just a vibe. That's a vibe, but like... That had the chance to be the sad one, but it's just like more or less happy. The kids at the start just like get on my nerves because they're just really? like... Really? Ah! Blah! Like they're screaming constantly. I'm like, kids gotta quiet down, Have you right? seen kids? Yeah, but I want to watch a movie where they're just screaming. <laughs> That's why I get past that part. Have you seen throw. Wolf Children? No. Okay, Wolf Children's by the studio that's like... I consider like the competitor to Ghibli. Hmm. Wolf. I just typed in Wolf Studios. Children. Wolf Children. <laughs> wolf Children. I think children. nowadays it get it's probably gonna get a bad rep as like the furry movie. Hmm. But <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> All right. Good. It's about a woman who marries this like human wolf guy and has two wolf kids, but then she has to like raise them on her own. Ah, I see. Okay. It's like, oh, does. how do I deal with like this dog side of my kids that like I know nothing about and don't understand? Yeah, I see. I see how this can be the furry movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Porco Rosso is pretty good. I saw that. I have not actually seen that one. Or the Cat Returns. Cat Returns is pretty good too. I like both those. They weren't like amazing, but they were like solid. What's Porco Rosso about? I just know it has a pig in it. Uh, he's like a pig World War One. pilot. And he's got pilot. an airplane or something, yeah. Yeah, he's like a World War One pilot. 
And he's like, I think he gets cursed to become a pig or something. It's something like I saw that a long time ago. But... So like him being a pig is nothing to do with like the plot or anything. It's just like consequential. Yeah, pretty much. Like there aren't like pig men and like beast men all over. No. It's just like, nah, they're mostly humans and he's a fucking pig. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was pretty solid. I think I saw Ponyo. Ponyo sucked. I'll say it, but I'm uh, not the demographic. I think Ponyo yeah. was made for five-year-olds. I remember I fell asleep during. <laughs> I fell. I just asleep remember during Ponyo was really weird because it's just like this baby fish goes to land and it's like, man, I love it up here. It's great hanging out with humans. And then the fish's dad's like, sweetie, like you gotta come home. And she's like, no, fuck you. And then he's like the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really get into it. Uh, yeah, Arietti is fucking whatever. I'd rather watch the Borrowers. I thought Arietti that's was literally all right. what it is. It. I. I. I feel like nothing happened in Arietti. Uh, it's more of like a vibe. Although what I remember about Arietti is the stick kid being an asshole. Yeah. That He's just like, happen. I'm sick and life sucks and fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that, that does happen, yeah. <laughs> uh, That's the only thing that annoyed me. I was like, this, I hate this character. Like, I don't want these two to get together or whatever's going on here. Yeah. Honestly, my top five is probably like Spirited Away, uh, Princess Mononoke, Kiki, House mm -hmm. Moving Castle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And. I don't even know what the fifth. It's probably interchangeable with a lot of these. That's my top four. I'll look up a list. Yeah, that's pretty good. What about. um? Man, they really didn't make that much. Yeah. I thought their repertoire was bigger, but like. Like 15 movies? Yeah. Dude, some of them are complete flops, though. Yeah, some of sorting them are, by sure. sorting by how good they are on Rotten Tomatoes. Your wig and the witch is the worst by far. Oh yeah, right. Followed by Tales from Earthsea, which I haven't seen, but it's got a forty-three percent. Huh. And then, uh, oh, I thought this was My Neighbor Totoro, and I was gonna get really fucking mad, but it's My Neighbors the Yamadas. <laughs> oh yeah. Which I, I have not seen, and it's got a 78, which is... I, honestly, if their lowest is a 78, like, that's a good repertoire. That's still pretty good. I, the art style's kind of weird. I think that's why. Oh, Pompoko is pretty low. I don't watch that. That's the uh, flying Tanuki yeah, nutsack. Yeah, I saw that one. It's okay. A little weird. What is their best? Grave of the Fireflies, according to this. And the movie oh. Only Yesterday, which I've never heard of, but it's gotten a hundred, so maybe I need to change that. Yeah, and then Tale of Princess Kaguya is also in a hundred. I heard Castle in the Sky was good. That's got a 96. Huh. It's better than Totoro, Porco Rosso, Mononoke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe I should watch that one. Have you seen Grave of the Fireflies? No. I heard it was sad. <laughs> it is just the most depressing, like, <laughs> hour and a half of your life. It's just like, you just you just dread your experience. <laughs> huh. Beautiful movie, but like... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to be it's just, sad. It's just, it's just heavy. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to see that. Because <laughs> it doesn't even, like, pretend with the premise. It's just like, hey, here are these two kids you're going to get to know. A nuke is going to fall at <laughs> oh, some yeah. point in the movie. <laughs> like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't want to see that. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I'm probably going to go get food and then start watching anime. Yeah, I'm anime. fucking done here. So, I'm going to go continue from the new world, which, you know, it's got to be good because I made it to episode <laughs> six. <laughs> Yeah, well, drop right in and remember exactly what's going on. <laughs> Thanks for the list. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. And, uh, see you. Bye bye.
All right, well there we go. We got the expert list building from Gmart. So now we're now we're good to go. Great. Um, but I'm gonna go eat food. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you're new here, click the follow button, follow along, be alerted when I go live. Check all the links below the stream. A whole bunch of links down there. Check them all out. If you haven't these, if you haven't seen the final stop, then check that out. And yeah. Thanks for everybody subscribe, resubscribe, drop bits, drop tips, give subs. Thank you for all the support. And I'll be back tomorrow. Also, tomorrow I'm going to be uploading my video of me and Sips power washing. That's right. Me and Sips power washing. Okay. Okay. See ya. Also, new Cox and Crendor is up on the old YouTube.com slash Cox Crendor podcast. Check that out too. Whoa, 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 whoa.